Hey everyone, welcome back to effect for you channel. Today, we are going to create creative abstract typographic effect, like this. So let's get started. First create a new composition, 1920 by 1080, and it's called main comp. Then create a new composition. It's called text 1. Width around 1500, and height around 100 pixels. Now type your text here, select text tool and type your text. Align text center of the composition. You can change the composition width according to your text length. Now create one more composition. I call this pre-comp 1. And we need only change the height around 200, just double of our text 1 comp. Now drag text 1 comp into the time align, and align it from the top. Now select rectangle tool, double click to make a perfect rectangle, then select shape layer and hit S for scale, unlink the scale value. And change the Y amount 50%, and align it from the bottom. And make sure rectangle should be white color. Move the shape layer bottom of the text 1 layer, then duplicate text 1 layer, and align it from the bottom. Select the duplicate text layer and apply to fill effect, and change fill color black. So our comp will look like this. Now go to project window, create a new composition, it's called pre-comp 2. And change the height around 2000 pixels, then drag pre-comp 1 into to the timeline. Align pre-comp 1 from the top. Now select the pre-comp 1 layer and apply CC Repetile effect. And change the expand down around 3000. Then hit P for position, and go to around 14 seconds forward. It's all depends on you how long you want. Then go to first frame, and change the Y position value like this. And increase the expand down if it's not cover the composition. Perfect, it's look good to me. Now create another new composition, it's called Precomp 3, this is a full HD composition, 1920 by 1080. Now drag Precomp 2 into the timer line, and resize according to the composition. Then create a new camera, I am using 35mm preset camera. Now select the pre-comp 2 layer and search CC cylinder effects. Here you can see the effect. Now go to effect control panel, and change the position Z around 730. Then, expand rotation, and change the X rotation 90 degree. So it will look something like this. Then expand light, and change light height 100. Then expand shading, and change the ambient 100. Now we need to animate the Y rotation, so hold Alt and click on the stopwatch icon. And add expression, time into 20. So it will rotating like this. Cool. Now select camera and open camera options. And change the zoom amount around 600 pixels. Then open transform, and change the Z position, until you get the best, you can adjust these setting according to your choice. Perfect. As you can see our text is appearing upside down. So go to the text 1 comp, and convert text layer into the 3D layer. 
and change the X rotation 180 degrees and move text center of the composition. Now you can see that our text appears correct. Cool. Our animation has done. Let's create one more effect, so create a new composition, I call this scene 2. Now create text composition, it's called text 2, and width 1500, and height 100 pixels, then type your text here. Now I want our text to come from right to left, so select text layer and search CC Repetile effect and expand right around 3000. Then go to the timeline and hit P for the position, and add a keyframe, then go to around 14 seconds forward and change the X position like this. Now double click on rectangle tool to create a perfect rectangle. Then go to project window and duplicate text to comp. Then open text 3 comp, we need to change the animation of our layer, so I want our text come from left to right, so select text tool go to the effect control panel, change expand right 0, and also delete the last keyframe of the position, then change expand left 3000. Now go to 14 seconds forward and change X position like this. So now our text come from left to right. Perfect. And also change the shape color black to white. Then change the text color white to black. So it looks like something this. Cool. Now create one more composition. Let's call it Precom1 and change the height around 1500 pixels. Drag text to comp into the timeline, align it from the top. Then drag text 3 comp into the timeline, and align this below our first text. Cool. Now select both layers, and duplicate them, then drag them together and align both text layer below the second text layer. Duplicate the layers, until our composition is covered. I am skipping this part so that you do not have to wait. After duplicating it will look something like this. Perfect, it's look good to me. Now create another new composition, it's called Precomp 2, and this is full HD composition. Then drag precomp 1 into the timeline and scale down around 50% and convert the layer into the 3D layer. Then duplicate text layer 6 times. Now I want to make a cube, so go to 4 views and make a perfect cube. I am skipping this part so that you do not have to wait. After adjusting all the layers, create a null layer, convert null into 3D layer, then select all pre-comp layers and parent with null layer, then hit R for rotation, and add a keyframe, then go to 14 seconds forward and change the rotation value 350 degrees. Decrease the null scale size around 70%. Perfect, it's look good to me. Our animation has done, thanks for watching, I hope you like the video. If you like the video please share it, like it, and subscribe our channel, for more tutorial I'll see you in the next video.